Hello, and welcome to something different. We're trying something new. Um, I want to make that I want to make that sweet content, you know, that uh, that that YouTube dollars. All right. So what is this? We're uh, I bought ten keys on Fanatical. This is not a sponsored video by Fanatical. I like them. I support them on occasion. They have some good deals. Um, I've bought ten random keys from them. We're gonna check them out. Um, I'm gonna look at each one and if I already own the game then I'm gonna go ahead and flash the key on the video and uh, that'll be given away you can if you know first come first serve if you grab that key it's yours um, congratulations uh, one other minor note that I want to make here and I don't want this to be a spicy video but um, I do know for a fact that uh, Hogwarts Legacy is uh, up for grabs uh, as a potential we, uh, key here so uh, if i do get that i'll be giving that away and i'll also be making a small donation to trans lifeline so uh I, i'm not gonna make this spicy but th that's my decision and i'm gonna keep it at that so uh let's check out the first key see what it is beholder i'm pretty sure i do actually own this game let me have a look i have by the way uh, a very sizable collection of games on steam so there's a very good chance that i i have this key uh, i have this game so yes i do in fact have this game it's a good one um this is one of the reasons i wanted to do this on fanatical is because uh, fanatical actually has a pretty decent collection they, they're giving away like good games uh and and so this is not one of those like a gimmick g2a uh videos where every game is like trash um no offense to g2a but anyway, yes, I do have Beholder, so if, if you can read that code on there, then uh, you, you can get a free copy for Beholder. Congrats. Hope you enjoy it. Let's uh, check out our next key. A Tale for Anna. I don't think I have that. I don't know what that is. Let me have a quick look here. A Tale for Anna. No, I don't have that. So I will be taking that and we'll I'll, I'll be doing a quick pause here. I'm going to check that game out. Uh, yes, this this definitely seems like a game. Actually, uh, this is probably a very uh, juvenile game, um, but like, I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, the, some some games are just meant for children and that's totally OK. This game is based on fairy tales. Let's uh, let's let's skip to the good part. I gotta say, there's some, uh, I've been encountering this a lot lately, but there seems to be, like, a very large gap of just resolution between certain images, like this cat, and this screen looks great, right? And if they, if they pan, cut back to the, the Anna here, does she not look, like, horribly out of focus and, like, as if, as if this image is like a, a, a very tiny JPEG blown up. No, I didn't mean to, for this to turn into a criticism of the game, but it seems to be something I've... Oh, maybe that's what happened there. I, I have... <laughs> I wonder if that's what happened. <laughs> All right, so we, we've got a very pleasant looking world here. Would you like to view the tutorial? Sure. Tail, tail needs help. Click on the door to take a closer look. What you need. The number of parts you must find. A spork. At least one. No more than that. We have one. Apparently we don't need to find it. We've, we've already got it. Unless we don't. Oh, this is the uh, find stuff game. I have never really played any of these. You know, these back in my day, these used to be called point and click adventures. Actually, I think that th that is what this is. I don't think that this is actually a find stuff game. Although, um... Uh, there are just like a copious amount of fine stuff games But uh, yeah, okay, so we're, we're finding these parts To to repair our thing here and then and, and we're clicking on stuff. Maybe it is a fine stuff find the rest of the parts yourself All right. Oh, there's one found it. Yeah, it, it, it is it is a fine parts game. Okay fine stuff game uh, I mean, you know like what is the difference between a fine stuff game and a point and click adventure? There's not really um, any real difference, to be honest. So we're, we're going up. Ooh, spooky lad. 
Hello, little sorceress. We've been looking for you. After we're done with your fluffy friend, you're next. I need to ignore that lunatic and help tail. Uh, all right. As soon as I find that spork, you are done for. I find them. There's a lot of these puzzle pieces hiding around, but uh, I don't seem to be able to pick them up. I need to deal with the shadow first. Uh oh. Looks like the game has given me a clue. I, apparently I am, even for juvenile uh, games like this, I need, I need help. I need assistance. We can go back down. Looks like we're gonna need, uh, how would I know, know that I need the bellows? Just curious. It really does seem like I should be able to pick up these puzzle pieces. I need more petals for a hint. Oh, I see. So I can pick up p petals to, to get a hint. Yeah, I still need that spork. I don't think that the bellows are down here. God, please don't let this video become the I struggle at a, a game like this. <laughs> I mean... I mean, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's getting there. What is this? Is that a petal? I need a different item. When I know where to use that item, I'll come back for it. What? I can't open that wind-up box without a key. Now we have to have a, now we have to find a key. Listen, I just want to leave my apartment. Why is this so difficult? I mean, it's like real life, honestly. It's too real. You know? Like every every day I'd be needing to go outdoors and what what is this side? If I only I knew where to find this item. Oh man, this game is hard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Video games. Okay, listen, not 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 every YouTuber can be uh, uh, amazing at all of the games. Um, just most of them. I don't know what happened, but I, I, I definitely revealed the top two keys here, so I don't know. Is this still Beholder? That is still Beholder. And this is still Tail for Anna? All right. Okay, um, well, that was the tail for Anna. Um, maybe I'll enjoy that on stream later. Who knows? Let's check out our third game. Return to Castle, Castle Wolfenstein. I can speak. I don't think I have this game. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. This is not a particularly expensive game, and it is, in fact, the old return to Castle. Okay. Wow, what is wrong with me? Good lord. <laughs> this is the old return to Castle Wolfenstein. Um, this game came out in 2001. I'm not going to play that game right now. I think it, uh, if you know what that is, then you know what it is. It's, it's Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and I didn't have it, so that key is not available. Sorry. Isn't, isn't this fun? I like this game. This is a good, this is good content. I like it. All right, let's check out our, ne our next key. Um, Space Robinson hardcore roguelike action. Okay, maybe I was a little bit off when I said that uh, uh, Fanatical only had good games. Um, you know, not to... Yeah, this game actually looks like it could be okay. All right, we, we uh, we were, we're playing Space Rock. I did, did not have that key, by the way. I don't know if anyone has this game. Well, it's, it's got mostly positive reviews, so definitely someone out there bought, bought it. So, uh, but I have never heard of this game. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, I kind of tend to think that I'm on top of things. Onboard computer, you've been granted the honor of repairing one of the advanced drilling modules. We'll be arriving shortly. In the meantime, you can relax in one of the comfortable seats provided. Fast corporation... Okay, appreciate... Yeah, all right. Let's, wait. Oh, we can, we can smack. We can... Ow! What? What? Oh, no, our ship is crashing. Okay. I was wondering what was happening. Hooray, I'm alive. Judging from those practice targets, the ship must have crashed in a training ground, which means the base is somewhere nearby. Um, all right. Clear the way by pressing... Oh, I thought I hit it, but apparently... Okay, we're, we're clear. Oh, it's okay, we can hit blocks. Don't waste time when you're on the move. Use dash while walking to move faster and be invulnerable. Okay. 
It's got to cool down. That poor fellow has even less luck than me, but it looks like he managed to leave a message. If you're reading this, it means I'm dead. Go north and destroy whatever obstacles are in your way. It's your only hope. Very good um, tutorializing through dead bodies. This is pretty good. We got some ammo and we got a gun. Yo, gun. I should only use uh, the gun when there are enemies. Remember, colonists, uh, crystals are our future. Can I break these as well? Uh-oh, is it it's nighttime? First aid kit will always help you restore HP. Don't forget to press it. The very strange way of like conveying information. I know it's just a sign, but like, I don't know. Uh, the, the giving us a, that first tip through a dead body was very strange to me. This place is scary. I should use a first aid kit. Why do I use that? Is it, yeah, Q. Okay, Q. Uh-oh, spooky creatures, aliens. What are those things? What's going on here? This game kind of reminds me of Nuclear Throne. But maybe it won't be as, like, balls-to-the-wall difficult as Nuclear Throne. I don't have any Nuclear Throne content on the channel. Um, and the reason for that is because that game is so stupidly difficult that I, I just never really kind of got a, as obsessed with it as the rest of the internet. Keep an eye on the day and night indicator so that darkness doesn't catch you off guard. Okay. This, is, this actually doesn't feel as much like a, a roguelike as it does um, like a survival crafting game, like almost like a core keeper. Use crystals wisely, colonist. Uh, charge the cores and gain access to machines. Activated by, to buy ammo. Just turn it on after upgrading the main generator. All right, we, we upgraded the main generator. Uh, okay, and then we smack it. All right, we, we got something out of this. Oh, and now, okay, now that we've turned it on, we can sell random ammo types. Uh, or we can buy random ammo types, I guess. So we, we bought some bombs. We can buy some more stuff, bought some ammo. Sure, okay. That's a little bit of a, a lot of steps to get to buy random ammo. Use crystals wisely, colonist. Yeah, all right. So we're done with that. Maybe we can try an actual level. This is actually interesting. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this whole a fanatical thing because this is actually a pretty cool game I am uh, I've, I have never heard of it and it seems like it's pretty interesting almost like a cross between like a, like a core keeper and maybe uh, enter the gungeon turn off power to all rooms why would I why would I want to do that desert plane all right Let's see how nasty the combat gets like spicy you know Right. Oh god. The fact that ammo is uh, finite spooks me a little bit. That's always oh ow. That's always a little bit spooky in games. Um, it's one of the reasons I actually am not a huge fan of Gungeon. Wait, are they? I'm pretty sure the the ammo is finite in Gungeon. That and like everything takes a bazillion hits. I don't know. Like I I I get to a point with games in general where it's like it, it takes. 20 minutes to get through a round and I'm just like ah Well, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, what else is new? You know, I think the problem is I think the problem is, is that I'm not using my gun as much You know what this game should they should have done with this game is it should be an extraction shooter Everything should be an extraction shooter now. That's the new trend you're gonna see a lot of games coming out that feel kind of extraction shooty a little bit. You know, just a little bit extraction shooty. And this kind of, I definitely feel like they could have gone that way with this. I, I do like it as a, uh, an, a concept because like, you know, it's like pick, pick, your, pick your danger, your spice level, kind of. Push your luck. Oh God, I almost died there. Interesting uh, enemy designs. So we've got an option here. Mini fridge. The hero freezes nearby enemies upon taking damage. Melee attack. Summon a... Oh, okay. Hold on. I almost died. Oh, God. Melee attack. Summon a spinning wrench. Uh, hero becomes temporarily invulnerable. I forgot there was a dash. I actually completely forgot there was a dash. 
That's actually one of the. Yeah. All right. Well, we're dead. That's that's Space Robinson. Okay. All right. Well, I did have that game, so that key is not available, unfortunately. What we got? Twelve is better than six. I think I've heard of this game. Isn't this the one that looks kind of like westerny? Twelve is. Yeah. I have actually ignored this game. That's that's not a good sign, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a go. Uh, this actually looks like a good follow-up to the last game I just played. Come with me if you want to stay alive, gringo. All right, this is a... Uh, this looks like it actually could be legit. Not that the last game wasn't. Wake up, what's your name? Uh, finally awake, are you? Uh, I can't remember. You know you're already the third one this year who can't remember. Okay, listen. We, oh, oh God, why is the world turning like that? That actually is a little bit nauseating. Uh, push cart. I'm, I'm trying to push the cart. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, outside of the world turning slightly, I actually do like the visual design. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting one. Okay, we are moving on. How's your head number three? It's better now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. Push the cart. We do be pushing a lot of carts in this game. I don't think that that is the game. Ah, uh, there's a there's actually some like really really bad screen tearing. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be options. Juan. Okay. Well, I, I, what, this is the game actually. Um, we do be pushing a cart a lot so far complete the tutorial um when we're when are we getting get, gonna get a tutorial what are you looking at wow look what are you looking at bitch um okay no we can't push the cart anymore uh-oh that's conflict you know our character is clearly very motivated Oh, Jesus. Okay. I did not expect to just kill that man. Complete this tutorial. Um, so we have a gun now. Oh, we've got a better gun. We've got the same gun. Draw your... Draw and cock your, your revolver. Yeah. Shoot left mouse button. You have to raise your... Oh, I see. So you gotta hit the right mouse button every time you fire. That's interesting. To swing out the cylinder in order to reload, use R. To insert a cartridge, use R. Is it? It's the both. It's both then. Um. Hmm. Okay. What is this? To look into the distance, use the Winchester and hold Shift. Reload the Winchester with right mouse button. I'll try to hit the furthest scarecrow. Okay, so we've got a Winchester rifle now. No, we don't have a Winchester rifle now. Okay, now we have a Winchester rifle now. Change weapon with Q. Okay. Oh, we can change the knife. <laughs> the The scarecrow dying animation is uh, pretty funny, actually. But I don't know. It won't let me... Oh, hold shift. There we go. Okay, we can shoot in the distance there. I'm trying... Okay, yeah, you do have to hit the right mouse button even after you, you fire your Winchester. I can't go through. We'll have to break the glass. So we've got a little bit of hit Hotline Miami here. It'll take longer to pick up the empty we weapon for not to grab it accidentally in the middle of a fight. To pick it... Is there is there a language barrier here? Uh, to pick it up, hold E. Oh, I see. So they've made it so that um, picking up a weapon is... You have to hold E to do that. Um, well, I just killed that man. I don't want to... I, I want to keep the Winchester. I thought I had a pistol. Uh, I, I thought I had more than... Okay, whatever. It's fine. I don't think I understand the reload mechanic. 
You, they want me to pick up the, the revolver. Okay. I think. I don't know. Maybe they don't. A gringo doesn't see me. I should finish him quietly. Alright, so we're pulling out the knife. Skull on an enemy means that you may kill him with one stab. The problem is, is that how do we know which way he's, you know, he was pointed? Is it because of the um, shape of his hat, maybe? That gringo seems to be looking for something. So we can follow. Okay, their footsteps definitely help. Um, I thought I had my knife out. Kill? All right. What do you mean I'll try to avoid him? Why would you try to avoid him? Listen, I'm not going to get into this whole morality de debate on whether or not you should kill every enemy that is in a, you know, video game. But definitely in this instance, it feels like it would be a good idea. What, why don't I have a gun? Oh, I do. Okay. Okay, shooting is a little bit... Having to, having to hold the right mouse button every time is a little bit weird. Like, you have to let go of the mouse button and then click it again. Pick up dynamite pre with E, throw it with F. Oh my god, that's violent. Oh my god. Okay. So, um, I, I don't know if this is like a roguelike... roguelite? Oh god, damn. I have a funny feeling that no, it is not a roguelike. Oh, well, I actually killed him. Okay, how do how do how do we? They have outrun me. Sometimes you gotta lure them to you. Reloading is actually pretty fun. You gotta do it one bullet at a time. Saloon, great. Okay, so this game is very definitely uh, linear. After the escape, this town ain't big enough for the two of us, as they say. Danny Dean, welcome to Danny Dean's the saloon. Look, Jimmy, a greaser is in our bar. I feel like that is problematic. I'm gonna skip the rest of this dialogue and look at that. We're in a firefight. I think everyone's dead. Finally, I can buy a new sombrero. It's something, I, I don't know, something doesn't sit right with this game for me. Something about it seems problematic, I'm gonna be honest. They recognize me, others will find out to pick up their ammunition, take the revolver. No. Cause, cause I'm done with this. Alright, I, I have nothing against that game. Uh, honestly, uh, well, I don't, I don't know. It's a little weird, but it actually seems like it could be a good a game if you're uh, into Hotline Miami. But I didn't own that game, so that key is not available. I'm sorry. Th this is the luck of the draw, I'm afraid. I do have a lot of games, and if there's a good one in here, it, there's a good chance that I probably have it, because I do buy a lot of games, so we'll see. Deadlight. That seems familiar as well, but I don't have that game, unfortunately. Let me look up Deadlight. Deadlight. Oh, that seems very familiar. A zombie outbreak eradicated all hope of returning life back to normal now only survival lives on. Run, hide, and fight your way through the undead as Randall searches for his family. This actually seems like a really cool game. Came out in 2016. Solve puzzles and overcome environmental hazards in these intense 2D platforming. So this game is by Deep Silver. Uh, which knocked me over with a feather. I, I, I feel like I should know more about this game, but I don't really remember. It's like, did this game come and go and I, I missed it somehow? I mean, it's a zombie game, and uh, I don't know if it's a zombie survival game or if it's a zombie linear kind of shooter. Sharks. When they stop moving, they die. That's how you are, Carla. All right, well, listen, we don't have time to watch the cutscene, I'm afraid. Oh, good luck, Randy. You know what this game kind of reminds me of is, um, 
Duke Nukem Manhattan, just like right away. I know it's a similar like perspective, but that was a really good game back in the day. Press E to interact with interactive objects. Collectibles can be accessed from Randall's memories. Press spacebar to jump. You can grab edges while jumping. Interesting. Can we... Oh, I see. We're jumping over here. Press... Double press E to kick doors with icon. Okay. This is... Uh, this looks really good. I've never played this game. I didn't own it, so the key's not available. But this seems like the kind of game that would make a fun stream game. The wood is rotten and the planks are weakened. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do we? Oh, we want to jump. Uh. Oh, I see. We want to jump down to it or push something heavy onto it from above. So we are uh, clearly our protagonist, John Zombie, is not okay right now. There's a zombie pursuing us. Seattle safe point must be the last strong. Pacific Northwest. Anybody alive must be trying to reach it. Do we have something here? Lost page of my diary. What are you, what is it doing in there? Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. I, I, I tried to jump. Flirting with danger. Oh god. Get it get out of there. How did you, you have like the upper hand and then the, the zombie somehow got on top of you there. I know what to do. I'm, I have to jump over that gap and then I have to push the box. Listen, I wish I was amazing at video games all of the time, but sometimes you know, it can only be some of the time sometimes. I, I see there's a something over there on the, on my left there. There's a body that they're gonna, that is meant to be hidden sort of. Okay, hang from ledges, but let's grab whatever's in here. And the idea of a stranger, his name is RT Chase. Uh, wait, we wanna use the ladder. The movement is quite fluid, I have to say. Like, you can just kinda drop down on stuff and uh, he'll catch the, you know, stuff. I see we're supposed to uh, push that box so we can reach this. This is really cool. I, you know, I, I really like this. I'm, I'm glad I, I discovered this. Use the environment against the enemies. Use the green button to release the charge of, on the shadow. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. All right. Hope he's OK. He's going to be all right, right? Uh, all right, let's uh, get going. You gotta get busy going or get busy dying, as they say. As as the Andy Dufresne had once said during a zombie apocalypse. Really, I don't know how I felt about the Shawshank Redemption sequel where there's a zombie outbreak when Andy Dufresne goes back to prison. You know, it's a it's a weird one. But you know, it's a uh, Stephen King. What are you gonna do? You know, the the, the guy likes his zombies, maybe. <laughs> There's some a, little, a bit of quick time events. Hold shift while running the sprint. Hold spacebar to perform. Long. Okay, yeah. I think I was already holding shift, just like kind of intuitively. Oh, we got Many a others made it out. ladder. You can hold shift to slide down ladders. Press F to taunt enemies. Zombies are not smart. They don't see the electrocution. No, Frank Grimes, don't do it. Okay, well that's fine. Listen, I know, I know the internet has, has, uh, hates Frank Grimes, but I always feel a little bit bad for him. Even though he is kind of a jerk. I ran so far away. Andy Dufresne ran through 12 miles of shit and piss and, and all the stuff. Just, uh, just everything. He just ran through everything and he kept running. He just kept running. We can get into that pipe. There are secrets in this pipe. Are there are secrets in this pipe? Handheld game machines. Yeah, I, I, this game does still remind me of Duke Nukem Forever. Not Forever, sorry. Yeah, Manhattan. Manhattan Project. Oh, that's a weird trap. How did he fall into that exactly? Oh, I see. He was coming in through the pipe, 
and then he jumped over the fence and then there were spikes there that's nasty did he not see the spikes john zombie watch out there's spikes coming for you randall cannot swim avoid deep waters okay that's an odd choice if he does end up underwater, you should uh, go look for bit large bubbles. That'll extend your breathing time underwater. I don't know how much of this I'm going to play. I kind of want to save this for stream, actually. Like, this, this seems like it could be a lot of fun. And then we have more water, and then we have some bodies down there. I'm assuming those are zombies. Yeah, they, they do look like they're moving. So we're gonna have to deal with those zombies somehow. Looks like the somehow is gonna be just, just kind of run through them. Um, okay, yeah, I was gonna say if they weren't gonna come up, uh, come to life, then I would be very surprised. Are they faster through the water than we are? Yeah, they are actually. Oh, that's kind of spooky. At least they can't climb a um, chest high, like wall thing, right? And we're good there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to jump on the ladder. It's not really working. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh. We, uh, we haven't been given a weapon yet. They're kind of slow, slow burning up to it, slow building up to it, you know. I should cross this highway. Oh God, no, Frank Grimes! Press spacebar to reload from the last checkpoint. Okay. According to the map, I should cross this highway to get closer to the safe point. All right. Nice. I've been, uh, I have been watching The Last of Us, you know. Surprise, surprise. It's, uh, it's good. I don't know, like, it, The Last of Us is surprisingly a spicy this is it. topic. This is what's left of our world. Especially with the show coming up, because, like, I've only ever heard people shadows, praising it. Snapshot of what become. Or, um, saying it's, like, highly overrated. I can understand both sides, honestly, of that. What is happening? There's a, like, weird... A weird effect on the screen. Another one of those damn government pamphlets. Quarantine all the warnings in the world couldn't save him. A D or or D to turn around on fences or windows. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, uh, this is really cool. This is Deadlight Director's Cut. Let's uh, check out our next game. All right, let's check out our next game. Dreamland Solitaire <laughs> Dragon Sphere. <laughs> uh, the Dreamland Solitaire Dragon's Fury. All right, video games. You know, maybe, maybe I'm uh, just like super lame, but I can't help but even for a game like this, appreciate some of the execution on it. Like it, it looks pleasant, and uh, you know that's that's more than you can say for some games. Uh, maybe, uh. All right, your primary goal on each level is to collect the mana from the magic cards. These cards are surrounded by a purple glow. Okay, so it's not just solitaire, but it's kind of a bit of mahjong as well. Cards surrounded by a golden glow contain coins. You need coins to buy bonuses. You may take any card that's one step higher or lower than the top card on the deck. Jack is on top, so you can take a ten or a queen of any suit. Take the queen by clicking on it. Oh, I see. So we don't, we're not putting our cards on them. We're putting them on our cards. And then we're... Okay. It's solitaire. Um, you know? the it, It's... I, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pretend that this isn't for anybody. Like, uh, of course this is for... You know, like, I think my mom would really like this game, honestly. And I, I think that that's valid. Um, I, I'm definitely not gonna... I'm not one of these people that's... I'm gonna dunk on a game just because I'm not the target audience for it. Um, and who knows, like, you know, this is why I always say, like, 
you know, I always take an interest in any game that anyone recommends because, you know, it could be good. Why, why are you shortchanging yourself? It could be that maybe Solitaire is a lot of fun and you would enjoy it. You just don't want to give it a chance because, you know, you can, you think you're better than that, right? But uh, I don't know. I, I think that, that people can, they, they have enough pride to kill themselves. You know what they said in, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was The Edge, another movie. Oh, man, I'm making a lot of ref movie references. The Edge, you know what kills a man? Pride. Pride kills a man. And uh, I think that that can be true, you know? And you know what? I'm gonna say it. It's actually pretty fun. It's stupidly simple, obviously, but this is also the tutorial. Maybe, maybe I'm just super lame. I have to, ex you know what? Instead of trying to cut out the lame, embrace the lame. I'm lame and I'm proud. I'm playing solitaire. Uh, this costs me coins every time I re, re we can't put a four on a four. Okay, there we go. I didn't make, I didn't end up with very much money. I did apparently achieve though. Uh, you collect mana while playing a level. The amount of mana you have is displayed here. Use mana to clean and fix up this location. Oh, that's kind of fun. I like everything in this game so far except the fairy. The fairy uh, disturbs me on a on a level I honestly cannot describe. Well, anyway, this is more more solitaire, but there's a shop actually. Hold on. There are two types of bonuses: passives and sweet. Or suit. Sorry. The top six bonuses are passive. The bottom four bonuses are suit bonuses. You acquire them by collecting cards of that suit. So there's like abilities that you can buy. Buy chain lightning. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to hold a gun up to my head. Dang. Okay, a chain lightning strikes a random un upturned card. There you go. Click the clubs to fill this progress bar and then activate chain lightning. We, we, we want to be collecting clubs. Okay. Now, that might not have been a good idea because we, you can like really go up and down and chain combo stuff. Complete combo. Get that queen. Oh, we could have gone queen or ace, but then we can go back up to queen and then get the ace. Listen, this is actually pretty fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I, I kind of like this. Uh-oh. Have I become a boomer? I sure hope not. Three, two. It, it's uh, it's solitaire. I was I was honestly gonna do a very quick look at this and just like yep, it's solitaire. I mean, it's actually it's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's it is solitaire, but it's actually pretty good. Oh no, the nine. No, I messed it up. Oh god. Oh man. And I didn't even take the six. Uh, now I'm gonna spend more money looking for a five. Or a seven. Uh, now I'm paranoid. Okay. Ten. There we go. Get those two. And now we need a seven. There we go. Perfect. Cool. All right. It's solitaire. Uh, I don't hate this game, weirdly. Um, I'll see, see you soon for the next key. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I'm sorry to disappoint y'all, but... I did not, in fact, own Dreamland Solitaire Dragon's Fury. I know that's surprising. So uh, that code is not available. So far, it's only been Beholder. That's kind of, you know, if I do this again, depending on if this takes off, um, which, you know, who knows, then uh, maybe there'll be more codes in the future. But uh, dead end job. I think I do own this one. Let me have a quick look. Ah, uh, shoot, I don't own it. Sorry, but we're gonna have a look. Well, we'll take a look. Is this another zombie game? So I feel like I have heard of this game. I definitely have come across this game a number of times in various bundles and I have generally opted out, um, but this'll... Yo, is that Ridiculon? No, it's, I don't think it is. Oh. Okay. 
This is really fun, actually. I I really appreciate <laughs> all of that. How did this happen? What are we gonna do? You heard the theme song, right? Yeah, but you hunt ghosts for a living, living, Hector. Asking logical questions will only slow us down. Make money, find Louise. Goes for you too. Let's get to work. All right. So what kind of game is it? Is it a roguelike? Job map. I don't think it's a roguelike. Corporate incorporeals. If you fail or quit a job, you, you'll get demoted and lose your perks. I wonder if this is like one of those games where you kind of like build up doing some, you know, missions and, and get some like actual uh, actual steady linear progression and not a roguelike we, we can shoot mario shoot ghosts over and over and over and over again until they can't take it anymore all right yes you've stunned one one of the nasty little gits and now use your vacuum to catch it Oh, I love this job. All right. Do we get something? You can break stuff. I wonder if there's penalties for breaking stuff. Catch all the ghosts in the room to free these idiots. I like the style of this. It's got kind of a, you know, like a 90s Saturday morning cartoon vibe, but like an ugly one, not a, not a pleasant one on purpose, you know? What is this? You be any slower? Apparently this guy thought I took a long time. Job complete, head to the exit. What are these? Oh, we got it. Oh, that's money. Can we suck suck up the money with our vacuum cleaner? These ghosts are are, are very much slouches. They uh Oh, those explode. I have to wonder if we're doing a good job here if we're destroying everything. You can't like click the gun repeatedly to make it shoot faster, so you may as well just hold it down. Oh, I accidentally stepped in the ectoplasm. I think, uh, okay, yeah, you can overheat your gun. All right, good to know. There's a little bit of heat management. What is this? What on earth is this? Use whatever stuff you can find lying around. It'll usually do something good, but on occasion bad. So what is it? What does it do? Oh, Q. Uh, it's a holy hand grenade. Okay. We got a lot of mileage as a, as a species out of that joke, you know? I, I, I appreciate it. I actually don't- they haven't called it a holy hand grenade, but that's what I'm calling it. So we got, like, biblically accurate neon light bulbs. This thing can actually attack. Nice. Catch enough ghosts to fill a tank and get a promotion, which comes with fabulous prizes, maybe. Nice. Hector Plasm. We got promoted. Qualified T Executive. We can take a perk, even a tiny little bonus every time. Oh, earn a tiny little bonus every time you f you're feeling under the weather. Thanks, boss. Poke some extra hair air holes in your gun to lower its heat buildup. Leave no stone unturned and no room intact in your quest to find nice things to vacuum up. Sure. Now, when we break stuff, we have an opportunity to get more stuff, maybe? We got some pizza. They just got pizza. I invented the pizza. What is this? No, oh, I can't really interact with it. Okay. So, uh, is there a map? No, you're, we're, we're hearing lots of fun noises in the background. I got, uh, never seen one of these before. Let's use it. Oh! Seek or scary. Whoa, I did, like, most of her health and damage. Nice. Room cleared. So I think, I think that's it. 
We can leave now. Might as well destroy this thing for some extra money. We're collecting euros, it seems. Maybe I'm just wrong about that. Nine to five. Job complete. I wonder if this is the kind of game that would work on the Steam Deck. Job complete. Got got a lot of money. Paid. Five thousand. We'll see what we can buy with the money, and then I'll I'll call it for dead end job. This is pretty cool though. It's it's pretty simplistic for now. Success. Don't get cocky, Hector. We've got a long way to go. How do you mean? Spectacularly long, Hector. Uh, goal is 50,000. Get refund on barrels headstone. What are we doing? Handbook? What are we doing? What in blazes is that? It's my hand spook. I use it to remember things. Useful junk, high level manifestations, good fast food places. Looks like a rejected scrapbooking project, but there's something more. I can't put my finger on it. But that's because you're a ghost. You can't put your fingers on anything. Really look at it. What? Wow. And it holds business cards. Well, that was a very strange moment. So <laughs> we were just like... A rev yeah, this is a way to, to convey to us that we've got a, a book with all of the creatures that we found and Yeah, that's that's weird but It looks like I didn't oh we can go to Ghouligon. I want to go to Ghouligon They're not gonna let me all right. Well, that's it for dead end job for now I might play this some more of this on stream as well. I don't know who knows. This, this seems like a, it could be fun Okay, we've only got two keys left. Let's see what the second to last is. Deadly 30. There's a lot of dead games that we're, we're getting. I don't own this one, unfortunately, as well. Wow, it doesn't even show up when I type in deadly. That's how many deadly games there are. Deadly 30. Whoa, this is this looks like a blast from the past. 2014. Can you survive the horror? A retro-style survival horror game developed by the two-man indie team of Gonzazum? and Iggy Zuck. Survive 30 days and nights in a zombie infested... This takes me right back to like armor games and new grounds. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, this uh, this is quite the game. This really does take me back. I remember when uh, uh, quite a few afternoons were spent playing games like these uh, rather than being in class or uh, <laughs> learning important things. Um, it kind of has an art style that reminds me of a few yeah, oh my god like just that art style alone really just it, it feels like so many games i played on like either congregate or newgrounds or even to this day i mean this is like it's it's almost a tradition now this is this is making me like super nostalgic damn but i i did not own that game so that won't that key will not be available so this is this is gonna be one of those games where we just have to like shoot zombies until the uh... Oh, no, this might actually have a level structure I was thinking that this is gonna be one of those things where we just kind of like shoot zombies until the night is done It still might be that use mouse to aim and shoot We have a limited amount of ammo hold R to reload Repair generator. Used to fill... F to use health pack. Okay. When you see this icon, press the action key. Okay, we, we found the generator. Okay, I think it is the, the kind of game I'm thinking of. Crouching improves your aim. How do we crouch? How do we crouch, though? You explained everything else, but not how to crouch. Oh, it's just down. Yeah, so they, they're gonna come from both sides. They will probably tell me, or give me some kind of sound effect to indicate that there's someone on the other side. Kill a naked zombie. Well, I'm doing, oh God.
At least there's no uh, activate the generator minigame. Hold E to repair fence. Interesting. Oh god! Survive your first night. So then we we can spend some time. Uh, scrap metal, it's your currency. You find it outside of the base. We have a little bit of slowdown uh, going on in this game. Oh, we could have, like, hung out on the roof. That'd be kind of neat. Hmm. Let's reload. Um, is there anything, any other place to go? Snow World. Go to Snow World. I see. So that was the first level. Can we run? Those two zombies looked like they were about to have a conversation, and I rudely interrupted them by, by killing both of them. This is fine. Um, this game is like five bucks. So, you know, for its price, I really don't think that it's a pro- Like, I don't think this is a bad game at all. And I think for for the fans of the old old style flash games, um, this is exactly what it needs to be. We got whoa, we're getting all kinds of scrap. Love love that zombie sound. Um, this is a chest we can open. Apparently, I have to shoot it open. I can't just, like, open it. M1 Thompson, the amazing American Tommy gun. So, did I get that, or did I find a blueprint to make that? Snow World kind of goes on and on and on. I feel like if something's going to hold this game back, it's going to be these aspects. It's getting late. You should head back to base. Every time that text... Uh, shows up on screen. There's like a horrible lag Go to the castle Yeah, I mean what, what can I tell you this is not uh, not a terribly deep game I think we Do be shooting zombies and then we do be repairing and upgrading our base it, it, we, we don't really seem to have one right now I'm just trying to get to the next one. I wouldn't mind getting to the next one and then calling it. Yeah, this is... Oof, you almost got me. You almost got me there, bud. Oh, ho, ho, almost got me. Um, yeah, this is very slowly becoming repetitive. Actually, it's very quickly becoming repetitive. Wow, there's a lot of zombies here. How many zombies ga zombie games have I played today? Did, did, does that dead-end job one count? What are these green creatures? Couldn't tell you. Oh, well, they're coming from behind now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It feels like uh, headshots don't actually count for much in this game. Can't, it's hard to tell. I feel like I've spent more time playing this game than some of the other ones that had a bit more going on. Super do double... Do I have these guns? Do I need to, like, change my weapon? Oh god! Oh god! I mean, he said it too. How do I switch weapons? No, that's not it. I'm I'm trying I'm like pressing buttons to oh god oh god I don't know what happened I feel like I was not supposed to fully explore this entire zone The melee weapon is honestly better in some ways Hold on I I need to see the uh, the buttons switch survivors Weird. 
have to heal. Do we have a... No, we don't have a health kit. I, this is a... Yeah, I mean, this is a game. I, I, I think I can understand. It, it's only got mostly positive reviews. It's not, particular, not particularly deep, and it's not really doing anything super novel here either. Uh, and even the execution is a little bit uh, weak. <laughs> but um, I, I don't know. I, I have a... I got a soft spot for games like these. I, I appreciate what it's doing. I, I think I'm gonna die here. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Was I supposed to like go back home before before it became nighttime again? I think I was. Oh, we can like do a little leap thing here. That's that's interesting. get back to our base just do this like little leapfrog thing this is this is working wait what you're low on ammo buy some from the shop uh oh what do you mean shop what do you mean I I have I didn't have infinite ammo I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Wow, you, you really just like keep going. Where is the shop? Oh man, I'm gonna get back to my place and then I'm gonna die. Oh, here's the shop. Okay, so we can buy the M1 Thompson and we can buy the should be able to buy the double barrel shotgun build turrets build box build barricade armor boots well we definitely need some, need some ammo these are make guns i thought i it's it's showing me that i can make the double barrel i wonder if i have to leave and then come back no it's weird we have metals these are all of our achievements. We can buy some machine gun ammo. Oh, we might as well make a ton of ammo. What does this require? I don't know what kind of ammo everything requires. I'm just gonna go ahead and bu we'll build a box. Yeah, there we go. So now I should be able to re- Oh, I see. So here's our new M1 Thompson Winchester. Now we can make a Winchester. All right, I think that this game is fine. I, I don't need to need see more of this. I, we could turn the game quality to bad. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's crusty. <laughs> Ooh. That is really crust. But it, it, the game does seem to run better. I actually think that this game is genuinely programmed in uh, in Flash, but anyway, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's have a look at our last key. All right, what is our last key? It is Golden Rails: Tales of the Wild West. That makes uh, that makes two Western games, and then two uh, three dead zombie games. I don't know. Uh, I don't have this one, unfortunately. Golden Rails, this might be a train game. Is this a train game? I, I do love me a train game on occasion. Um, it is, oh God, it's something. <laughs> it's something. It's, I swear to God, I've seen some of these companies already today, maybe in the in the solitaire game. Um, but this, <laughs> I'm not gonna judge it too fast, okay? You know, like I was proven wrong with the solitaire game. It was actually pretty pretty good Let's see All right, welcome to the construction site as the chief engineer. You have a huge responsibility. We must build the railway on time Skip Okay, we're, we're building a railway I, I I'm really like place your bets on what kind of game this is Finish the railway. We have enough rails, but not enough sleepers. We ran out of them yesterday. 
Okay, here's our workspace. This is the starting point of each level. Collect food from the vegetable patch. Over time, the patch will produce new harvest. Is this is this a Farmville type of game? Workers can collect resources from walkways to clear the path. This is this kind of feels like Farmville, <laughs> except it, instead of taking like three days to grow our crops. This is income. I'm getting a lot of achievements right here. Cut down the trees to get more wood. Oh, I see. We got to well, this, this seems highly shallow. <laughs> We're just kind of clicking on the things and see all the resources you've collected as well as how many workers are at your disposal and how many of them are not occupied. It's like a colony sim. It's a colony sim, guys. Um, I... <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this one. This is a very strange game. Not enough. We gotta we gotta build the railway. Man, there sure are challenges and obstacles to overcome in this game. I know this is only the first level, but it's really difficult for me to figure out. Like, is the, does this game have challenge? When I really am just like clicking on resources. Like, the, I, I didn't even build these resources. The, the level just kind of came with them. Can I not pet the dog? Man, you can't pet the dog in this game. Actual trash. What do we need for this? We need 80 food and 80 wood. Well, they're doing it anyway. Did we have enough? Okay. Well, all right. That would be quite the thing if we didn't even need to collect <laughs> the resources <laughs> to progress the level. I mean, that's like... All conflict is gone now. I did three stars good. I don't know what I did good exactly there. I like, did I, I click to the resources quickly enough? Dying town amid the endless sands and canyons. People shouldn't live in such conditions. Something about the that cowboy is really making me feel uncomfortable, honestly. I know I'm dunking on this game like fairly hard, but uh, you know. Hey guys, <laughs> we're getting corn. <laughs> Yo, it's corn. Oh god, we need more wood. Um, so we're doing very much the same thing right now. We're just kind of clicking on resources to collect said resources. Um, we need two people to break the stone blockage. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good on this. I'm sorry the key got got used. You know, the one thing that sucks about this is that it, on the off chance that this, someone was watching this and was like, oh man, Golden Rails, I've been wanting to get that game for ages. I've got good news for you. The game is $5. But um, yeah, sorry I, I used up the, the code for Golden Rails, Tales of the Wild West. Amazingly, it's got good reviews. I, I'm wondering what, how. Someone's got nine hours in this game. <laughs> it is still an okay casual game. Good for killing time during idle working hours. As the game has 50 levels, each takes only 7 to 13 minutes. So easy to stop and play again some. They don't have complex stories. Wait, they, they, they're outlining... This man actually wrote paragraphs of review for this game. Jill, who just finished university and now an engineer, hired by a railroad company. The company is in deep trouble as it is in debt to the to an evil banker. This guy, they received this game for free. Is this a friend of the developer? Hey, I am an achievement hunter. Perfection time is eight to ten hours. Oh god. Uh, guys, remember when I was talking about achievements and how they can be um, potentially abusive and uh, harmful? Case in point, someone played this game for nine hours because they cared about gaining achievements. Anyway, that's going to do it for this. I don't know what I'm calling this series. Um, uh, 
key finders. I don't know what what. Let me know in the in the comments. What 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 should I call this game? And to the one person who got the holder, that was our only code that I didn't own myself. Um, you know, uh, congratulations. Um, enjoy it. I know I've heard it's a good game. I haven't actually played it myself. It's been in like many 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 bundles. But uh, I actually think that this was like worth it because like I get to try some games I've never heard before. Honestly, even the just Deadlight I think was probably worth the uh, the price for entry. Um, and I get to see some cool games like Dead End Job. And I think that this is a uh, potentially good content. I mean, y'all get to see me play Solitaire um, and Tale for Anna. Who knows? But anyway, definitely, uh, if you did enjoy this, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And definitely let me know in the comments what you think I should call this series. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.